Howdy y'all, this is Proverbs 22 in the ESV for June 22, 2023. A good name is to be chosen rather than great riches, and favor better than silver or gold. The rich and the poor meet together, the Lord's the maker of them all. The prudent sees danger and hides himself, but the simple go on and suffer for it. The reward for humility and fear of the for fear of the reward for humility and fear of the Lord is riches and honor and life. Thorns and snares are in the way of the crooked. Whoever guards a soul will keep far from them. Train up a child in the way he should go, and even when he is old, he will not depart from it. The rich rules over the poor, and the borrower is slave to the lender. Whoever sows injustice will reap calamity, and the rod of his fury will fall. Whoever is a bountiful eye will be blessed, for he shares his bread with the poor. Drive out a scoffer, and strife will go out, and quarreling abuse will cease. He who loves purity of heart, and whose speech is gracious, will have the king as his friend. The eyes of the Lord keep watch over knowledge, but he overthrows the words of the traitor. The sluggard says, There's a lion outside. I shall be killed in the streets. The mouth of the forbidden woman is a deep pit. He with whom the Lord is angry will fall into it. Folly is bound up in the heart of a child, but the rod of discipline drives it far from him. Whoever oppresses the poor to increase his own wealth or gives to the rich will only come to poverty. Incline your ear and hear the words of the wise and apply your heart to my knowledge, for it will be pleasant if you keep them within you, if all of them are ready on your lips. That, you may, that your trust may be in the Lord, I've made them known to you today, even to you. Have I not written for you thirty sayings of counsel and knowledge, to make you know what is right and true, that you may give a true answer to those who sent you? Do not rob the poor because he is poor, or crush the afflicted at the gate, for the Lord will plead their cause, and rob of life those who rob them. Make no friendship with a man given to anger, nor go with a wrathful man, lest you learn his ways and entangle yourself in a snare. Be not one of those who gives pledges, who put up security for debts. If you have nothing with which to pay, why should your bed be taken from under you? Do not move the ancient landmark that your fathers have set. Do you see a man skillful in his work? He will stand before kings. He will not stand before obscure men. So I'm running out of light, as you can see, but better than doing it in the dark. And I needed a moment of quiet. I had to go to the deep freeze to get something to cook, which I should have already cooked, but oh man, I've been dealing with blackberries. I feel like Bugs Bunny. If I take a drink of water, it's going to just shoot out everywhere. Um, I've got three bundles, like as tall as, and two of them taller than me of I don't know, four, maybe more, as big as my thumb around. So those are being given away to people who want them. Um, and then I've got, I don't know, root stocks. That's going to give off so many shoots. I've got like, I don't know, 20 plants potted up. Some of them four in a pot. I've got one of them that had berries. And my wife's so mad because she wanted blackberries. Well, I took all that and I tried to replant that one. So we'll see if it makes it in a pot. Just, it's taller than me like eight feet tall and leaning um we're done i think i think we got one left in the ground that i left intentionally because it has berries on it so i'll finish pulling those out another time but today man i had the biggest wild garlic bulb you've ever seen and probably never seen one it was as big as the store-bought garlic and i left it up there and i was going to plant it and i wanted to take pictures of it and show everybody and I was going to plant it in a very specific pot. And I showed the middle kid because he was like, ooh. And I was like, yeah, I've left this dry here for a couple days. Don't mess with it. Don't break it. Okay, daddy. Go to the back. A couple of minutes later, I hear a thunk. And it's the kind of thunk that it's off a car. And I kind of knew because it was like a soft thunk. It was like, I, I kind of instantly knew. So I walked back over there. And my oldest had destroyed the garlic bulb peeled it all and was for whatever reason throwing it and throwing it at the car so the only surviving clove i took a picture of and for a wild garlic club it's like big as my thumbnail it's amazing so whatever growing plenty more of it i was just really proud of that one so 
uh, the rod of discipline. You know what I mean? Because like folly is in the heart of a child. I asked him, why did you do that? Well, I don't know. Why did you destroy it? Well, I don't know. Well, it wasn't yours. Well, nobody told me. Okay. So I had to put away my anger because he got very upset and uh, ran away. I had to call him back and just ask him again, like, why did you do this? You don't do this unless you're given something. Even when it's yours, why would you just destroy it? So I had to have a little chat. So, because I don't want to be a man given anger or a wrathful man, because my kids, lest they all learn my ways and entangle themselves in a snare. I got to fix myself, man. Or rather, I got to identify the problem, say my prayers, read the word, progress, keep letting the Lord do his thing in me. So, I don't know, that that's my biggest one, right? Folly's bound up in the heart of a child. Mm. But, but, right above that, it says, where is it? To train up a child in the way he should go, and when he's old, he will not depart from it. Verse 6. Now, do your due diligence now, because the future, it matters for the future. That's what I got. I gotta go cook. I gotta go attend to them. I'm sure it's chaos in there. Everybody wants a snack because I haven't cooked, even though we just had a snack before we came outside. Whatever. Let me go try to appease everybody and get some people bathed and such. With that, go with God. Be blessed.